hi and hello to everyone in this class we will be discussing about the vasti cas k map right uh, we already seen what is a k map how to work with k map okay we know k map is used to uh, reduce or simplify the given boolean expression that is the purpose of k map but what about the vasti cas k map in which we cannot use k map to reduce further that is said as the worst case k map you will see with an example so this is the first example i have taken i have taken a b c d four variables as the input the output is a single variable z okay right so if you look at the table if you go for the k map we have four variables so we have to go for 16 box k map okay what are the variables variables are a b here it is c and d so we know from k map this is 0001110 this c d is 00 it can be 01 or 11 or 10 what does this zero signify this is a bar b bar 01 is a bar b 11 is a b this is a b bar similarly 0 0 can be set for c and d as c bar d bar this is c bar d this is c d this is c d bar okay now we will fill it for the z right we are going to for fill for z what is z value if you look at the z value uh, for a 0 b 0 c 0 d 0 z is 0 so a 0 b 0 c and c and d are 0 so here i can fill with 0 similarly when a is 0 b is 0 c is 0 d is 1 then what about the output z it is 1 right so where does it fit it will be fitting here right a 0 b 0 okay then c is 0 d is 1 right so it is 1 here okay then what about the next one a 0 c b 0 c is 1 d is 0 Here it is a is zero, b is zero, then c is one, d is zero. So correspondingly, it is it corresponds to the output is one here. For the next one, yes, you are right. A zero, b zero, c is one, d is one, right? So a zero, b zero, c is one, d is one. Okay, so that is output is that is zero. Okay, if we can fill for the rest of the table, uh, we will be getting a table like this. K map table. Will be like this, right? Okay, fine. Now we can clearly see what ways you know K map will be grouping in term powers of two, right? Okay, so we cannot group. Um, we can group only single ones. These ones can only be individually grouped. We cannot group with an adjacent one. Nowhere we can have one which is adjacent, right? so we cannot have two groups or four or eight groups okay so we can group only individually like this so this is the first grouping this is the second one this is the third one this is the fourth one fifth one sixth one seventh one eighth one right so if you group like this so what about your answer your answer is output is z is equal to for the first group if you see here what is in the left side it is a bar b bar what is in the top c bar d so we can write simply as a bar b bar c bar d okay then for the this one what is in the common a bar b bar c d bar a bar b bar c d bar okay then what about this a bar b this is the worst case right okay we have the maximum number of uh, uh, min terms but we in those min terms cannot be grouped with the adjacent term this is i said as the worst case k map okay right then for the fourth min term it would be a bar b c d then for the fifth term you can clearly see ab 
C bar D C bar D A B C bar D A B C D bar A B bar C bar D bar for the last term it is A B bar C D this is how we can write right no more no grouping at all but if you observe this very closely what I can do here is look at the first two terms if you look at these two terms I can take a bar b bar common as commonly out right okay so this I can work as a bar b bar this is c bar d this is c d bar okay then if you look at the next two terms this term and this term what I can take I can take I think uh, what about the fourth term a bar okay see this term should be there's a small mistake here it should be d bar right if you observe closely I have, this is d bar not d right okay if you look at here what is common a bar b here it is c bar d bar here it is a bar for this this fourth term it is a bar b c d okay right so i can write this as plus a bar b c bar d bar plus c d okay then for the last two terms that is for these two terms right it will be plus i can take a b bar out it will be get reduced to C bar D bar plus C D. Okay, not last two terms. We have missed a term. Okay, uh, right. We go with the C. We group Okay, we didn't group these two, right? Next, fifth and sixth term we are grouping. So what I can take? I can take AB commonly out. So C bar D bar C bar D C D bar. Okay. Then the last two terms is this term. I can take. Uh, I can take uh, plus A B bar out. So it is C bar D bar plus C D. Right. This is what you are getting. Okay. Now what you can do? We have the terms so right <clears throat> so look at carefully here from these terms from these terms can I take uh, this part outside like uh, can I take C bar D plus C D bar out so what is there it is A bar B bar plus A B right so i am taking c bar d plus c d bar commonly out so i will be getting a bar b bar plus a b ok now look at these terms i am going to take c bar d bar plus c d commonly out so i will be getting a bar b plus a b bar ok right so so this is what we are getting right now what about this we know what is this this is c x r with d this is a x nor with b plus this is c x r with d this is a x r with b okay so if you see i can write this as and uh, can i write this like this on uh, c x r d a x r b complement that is your x nor right and remember that um, 
this symbol okay this symbol we will use for xr dot with the circle we will use for x nor right okay and what is the relation they are complement right xr and x nor are complement that's why i am writing like this plus i can write this as c xrd complement a xr b right okay so this entire thing this entire thing is nothing but a xr b xr c xr d okay so this is the point i want to say here if we have a worst case k map worst case k map in like this right immediately you can simply write z as a xr b xr c xr d okay we cannot use k map but we can use this logic another point i want to add here is if you see if you look at the table we can see when one is happening when the input is having odd numbers of one right odd numbers of one input is having odd numbers of one then output is one right if you look at the table clearly you can see no one is there so zero one one is there right so one 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 is there one two ones are there it's an even number so it is zero one one is there in the input right so the output is one two ones output is zero two ones output is zero three ones output is one 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 it is one likewise four ones is an even number so the output is zero for three one it is one okay so we can extend this idea right i can say this is nothing but an odd detector odd detector means the circuit is detecting odd numbers of one at the input in this case the k map is of no use in this case k map is of no use because we cannot group any adjacent boxes right we cannot go for two boxes or four box or eight box we cannot go right so so the straight away the answer is a x r b x r c x r d so this is your z okay right this detects i can write this detects odd numbers of one at the input odd numbers of one at the input clear okay now uh, we can go for the another table if you look at this it is very clear it is similar to the previous one but it is detecting only even numbers of one right that is output is one when input is having odd numbers of ones odd numbers of one right okay so if you go for k map the k map would be like this okay it is complement to what we have seen before okay 0001110 this is 0001110 okay so in what case it is one i can fit one here one here another one here one 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 the stall are zero so there is no way of grouping okay uh, there is no way of i can group i can group only like this individual groups okay so this is nothing but uh, it is detecting see here a small correction it's not odd numbers of one it's even numbers of one it's opposite right it's a even numbers of one right even numbers of one at the output see when the input is having even numbers of one output is one right 
so all are zero it is one when one one is that is zero one 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 is that is zero two one is that is one 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 is that is zero two one is that is one two one is one okay right this just you can see the compare this table you can if you compare this table with this table you can understand they are they are complement right so what is this this is nothing but if the previous one it is nothing but a x r b x r c x r d which is detect the odd numbers of one but this this table is detecting or this table is intending to say it is going to detect even number of one so it is complement it is complement so this is nothing but a x nor b x nor c x nor with d okay so it is so this is the connection a b c d this is your z okay so this is regarding the first case k map for the previous one the circuit would be very simple the previous one it is just a xor a b c d clear okay right okay i hope uh, you learn something regarding the worst case k map uh, in this lecture see you again in the next lecture thanks for listening